Hey Gemini, happy June. Hope everyone's doing awesome. This is going to be your love reading for June 2018. If you guys want a private reading with me, the information is in the description box. I have another style of readings that's a one question reading. It's only $22. We can focus on one particular question. It's a three tarot card pull with oracle cards and some clarifiers. Also, you guys can follow me on Facebook on Awakened Soul Tarot. All right, Geminis, let's see what's going on with you guys for June 2018. Happy birthday to you guys. This is Gemini season. The sun is in your first house. So all about self-transformations, your belief systems, your attitudes, things like that you guys are working on. Manifesting positivity in your life, I hope. All right, Geminis. What does Gemini need to hear? June 2018. Starting off with two kings already, so definitely got some fire energy, some water energy here. Wow. Already three. One knight and two kings. What's going on with you guys, Gemini? What does Gemini need to hear? Wow, Geminis, bottom of the deck, the three of swords. So if you guys have been dealing with disappointments in relationships, if you've been dealing with heartbreak, sadness, um, you know, just disappointment from being single, not moving forward, that's the overall energy, like what you guys are feeling here. You have a lot to look forward to, okay? You have water energy, you have fire, you have two kings, you have one knight, the star, the hierophant. And Cancer did just have the Hierophant, so if some of you are involved with a Cancer that is a water sign, it's underneath the King of Cups. King of Wands energy, having the courage, the passion. Um, the King of Wands is like very courageous, moving forward, really passionate to start something. So that could be on your end, that could be on your partner's end, but a lot of passion here again for you guys with the King of Wands, very strong male type energy. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo is the fire energy. And you have the King of Cups. The King of Cups is definitely emotional. He kind of stands back, you know, watches from the shadows. He cares greatly about people. The King of Cups truly cares about people. He has a lot of emotions. They're just more underneath the surface versus the Queen of Cups. So that is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. If some of you are dealing with that water sign type person or fire sign, this can also be your energy. So definitely feeling a lot of emotions this month. Can't, uh, excuse me, Cancer. I'm saying Cancer. Gemini. Um, you know, if you guys are feeling that passion, release it. Let it go forward. You have the Knight of Wands here. So this is like moving forward. The Knight is a little bit of a younger energy than the King. A little bit more of an immature energy. They're just more eager and ready to go. Um, you know, no matter what the outcome is, just like in this card, you have the dragon in the background breathing fire. So uh, this witch is just ready to move forward. They're like, you know what, I can take it on. So it's all about taking on your emotions, take it on passions, take it on a new beginning, really moving on to something new here, really moving forward, leaving the past behind, leaving the disappointments behind and sadness, however, you know, whatever your sadness and disappointments are, Geminis, seven of pentacles. So this can be like a period of rest and relaxation and really enjoying, you know, your fruits. What have you created? The witch here is, you know, enjoying her glass of wine, enjoying her pentacles, enjoying what she's created. It's like taking a breather. So in the beginning of June, you may have a lot going on in your life. Um... A lot of fast-paced moving energy involving relationships. For some of you, this could even be projects that you're working on and you need to make more time for relationships. 
So also remember that too, Geminis are very hard workers. They like, you know, like to have their hands in everything, moving forward, doing stuff all the time. Of course, that does depend on your other signs, but typically all the Geminis I know, they always have to be doing something. So make sure to take time to enjoy. It's good to be passionate about things. It's good to be passionate in relationships, but always, you know, take a little bit of time for yourself here, especially next to the Hierophant. That's really telling you meditation, rest, relaxation. It's like a spiritual process, um, definitely involving family. And you have the star and that's Aquarius. So another air sign, if you are dealing with an air sign like yourself, beautiful energy. It's like all your hopes and dreams coming true. So this is like so much positive energy. I think in your bonus love reading, the three of swords may have come up. I'm not positive, but maybe mid-May through mid-June, there was that possibility. Um, but regardless of that energy, whatever disappointments, you guys are moving on fast from that. And Geminis typically are very good at that. Um, you know, they keep themselves busy and it looks like that's what you're really doing here. But again, remember, rest and relaxation is important and really putting time and effort into your relationships as well. Take some time to sit back, enjoy each other, whatever you guys like to do, whether it's have a drink together or, you know, watch a movie or just sit in complete silence nothing going on and just talk about how your day was. But you have the star, so definitely really positive energy coming in here for you guys. Whatever you guys are hoping for, if you are single, there's definitely manifesting here going on, putting in hard work, and you know then enjoying the fruits of your labor, enjoying what you put into this. Why is the King of Wands here for Gemini? There is the possibility because there's multiple Kings here and a Knight that for some of you are dealing with a third party situation. There's always that possibility having, you know, multiple parties here. You have Justice. So... Some of you could be believing behind somebody else moving forward with somebody else. Justice definitely can be a legal type situation like divorce and separation. But also that can just be really good karmic energy coming in for you guys. You know, maybe you met a King of Wands type person and you fell in love with them. But also it could be somebody that you're leaving behind. Clarify the King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here for Gemini? And you Geminis tend to get a lot of water in your readings. So for some of you, I think maybe you're dealing with water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. That does seem to come up in a lot of your readings. The moon, so more watery energy. So are you guys dealing with another water sign? I mean, there's definitely that possibility here. The moon is Pisces energy. Definitely a lot of emotions, uh, watery energy here. The moon can definitely be hidden things coming to the surface. Um, it could be, you know, emotions hidden under the surface for somebody. You may have strong emotions, but you haven't come out with them, especially with the King of Cups. But something's definitely going to be coming to the surface here. One more for the King of Cups and the moon. So, you know, it definitely could be a third party thing for some of you. Wow, this is insane. The King of Cups. Who here is dealing with a water sign? Whoever is dealing with a water sign needs to hear this. So, you know, what are your experiences? Is it a positive experience? Is it negative? Why is the King of Cups in the moon here? What's going on with this King of Cups person? Why is the King of Cups here for Gemini? This could be somebody you're just really passionate about, really madly in love with, a lot of emotions. Wow. All right, more cups. A lot of cup action, a lot of emotional action. So Jesus, Gemini, here we go again. Uh, this is great. You know, this is your season, so enjoy it and live it up. The 10 of cups, happiness, fulfillment. The 10 is a completion, so moving towards 
you know, maybe having children, maybe an engagement or a marriage type thing. But this King of Cups person is really strong in your readings. I think you guys get the King of Cups like all the time. Either the King or the Queen, but a lot of water energy here. So some of you could leaving, be leaving behind a fire sign for a water sign. That is a possibility. Um, for others of you, you know, somebody you're very passionate about, whether it's this fire sign. There is all different types of signs in here. Air energy. So... Definitely, there's pentacles in here as well, earth energy. But, wow, you guys. Lots of passion. For those of you who are single, you definitely could be meeting somebody this month. Maybe a water sign, maybe a fire sign. Maybe they just have that energy. But if you've been disappointed, good things are coming your way. What does Gemini need to hear for June? Wow. Got the star again <laughs> and the lovers. You guys are like on fire again. I love it. This energy is awesome. So the lovers definitely could be a decision that has to be made. Yes, between two people. For others of you, you may be moving forward in a relationship, going to a higher level, going from single to being in a monogamous relationship. Maybe you're getting engaged, getting married, having children, but you have the star here, dream come true, believe in yourself, the end of a difficult situation, so the end of the Three of Swords energy. What does Gemini need to hear? Chop wood, very interesting. All right. It's about being grounded and humility. There are times when the big dream is meant to lie dormant in your consciousness so that you can pay attention to the simple chores in your life. Consider why pruning a tree is the forerunner of delighting in the beautiful blooms when it is in full blossom. The mundane act of pulling off dead leaves, watering soil, and then leaving it to be and let nature take its course is important in the step of manifestation. Taking your attention away from your goal brings you into a state of receptivity. This is a deeper purpose for releasing attachment when you engage in everyday tasks in a meditative con contemplative way you clear your energy to receive your moments your aha moments nothing is as important right now as just doing what you need to do day to day let your heart remember that not everything has to be hard one passionate or even obviously meaningful relationships and friendships go through lulls when the everyday tasks are at the center of awareness this is perfect now hold hands wash dishes make a fire read a book share a meal say nothing stare into each other's eyes pick up socks and tell a dumb joke and leave space to breathe Wow, this is everything that I've been saying for you guys. So for some Geminis, what I think is take a step back from your work. Um, you know, this doesn't apply to every Gemini, but again, most of the Geminis that I do know in my personal life are always so focused on completing one task and then moving forward to another. It's like that Mercury energy. Um, so take a break in between completing tasks you don't always have to be doing something as much as you may feel like you have to. Um, you know, enjoy your relationship, enjoy the passion. And for some of you, take time to just do mundane things around the house with your partner, even if it's washing dishes together. That's like creating a bond. You know, not everybody has to have a particular job where I'm just gonna go to work and then I'm just gonna do dishes and cook. Like, do those things together. For some of you, that's really gonna bring passion into the relationship because. You guys will appreciate each other for helping each other out. It's those mundane, simple things that we have to do every day that if you do it with your partner and see it as a positive thing, it can bring a lot of passion to the relationship as little as it is. So, wow, Geminis, you're on fire again. This is your season. So happy birthday to all of you guys. I hope you have amazing birthdays and take care. See you guys soon.